Hi, I'm Paul with Madcap Software. Welcome to the second video in our series on meta tags in Madcap Flare. And in this video, we're going to focus on meta tag set, uh, meta tag set files, which are the files where you would most likely begin. Now, you don't have to add a meta tag set file in your project. You can create custom text meta tags. Uh, on any of the other files that support meta tags, but most likely you're going to want to create a meta tag set because this is going to allow you to set up a kind of an overall schema of meta tags. And then, as I mentioned in the previous video, this is going to trickle down. There's this inheritance chain that goes on in meta tag sets or at the very top. Um, again, I'll put the image on the screen here for you and you can see how it works its way all the way down. Snippets kind of throw a kink into things because they're a little bit unique. It's not really inheritance that's going on from snippets to topics. It's more like the topics derive the values. And so what I mean by that is think about the, the nature of snippets. You can have a snippet in uh, multiple snippets in the same file. And each of those snippets could have a meta tag with the same name, but different values. So what happens? Well, in the output, the topic is going to have both of those, you know, however many snippets that you've got with the same name, it's gonna have all those with whatever values there are. So it's that's just a little bit different, but for the most part, you're just kind of looking at this thing set it up high on the meta tag set and then you know work with them down below okay so um when you add meta tag sets to your project there's two parts to the meta tags within there there's the meta tag name and then each name has one or more value settings in it and you can uh, either select the value or enter the value there at the on the meta tag set, or you can leave it blank, which is what you'll do a lot of times. And then you'll just, you'll choose the values or enter the values lower down. So we're going to begin by adding some meta tag sets to a project. And then after that, I'm going to add some meta tags into those. Within your project, you're going to add meta tag sets in the project organizer over here. And I'm gonna expand advanced. You can see I've got a file in here right now. This is a file tag set. This is the older feature in Flare uh, that we've had for years and years and years. And uh, so you are. Re it's recommended that you use meta tag sets instead, but there is a way to leverage the work that you might've done in, fi in uh, file tag sets uh, the, we're going to connect it to a meta tag set here in a little bit, but I'm going to add a few meta tag set files and you can add, you know, you might just need one or you might add a whole bunch of them. It depends on how many categories of information you want to control here. And I'm going to add three in here because I have, and you just right click and select add meta tag set. And I'm going to uh, add the first one and call it general. So I have a small project in mind, and you'll see this if you watch the micro content video series where I use these meta tags that I'm setting up here. And so I have in mind this project and what meta tags I want to include in there. So the first one is just this, you know, general meta tag set just for, just to hold miscellaneous kinds of things. Now in the meta tag set file over on the right, I'm going to give it a title. You don't have to but I'm gonna type meta tag set uh, file in here. Well, I'm gonna just, I need to be more specific. Let's see, meta uh, general meta tag set, that's what I'll do right there. You don't have to, if you don't uh, type something in here, it's gonna use just the name, your file name. And you'll see this later when uh, in Flare UI where you use, where you uh, are associating things from a particular meta tag set. You can add uh, an optional comment in here. I'm just going to leave this blank. And by default, it gives you one meta tag right out of the gate. And this is a text meta tag in here called description. And I'm going to come back to this. This is actually a very important meta tag. But the when you create these new meta tag sets 
it's going to add that immediately. So I'm going to add a second one in here. And this one I am going to call promotions. And so I'm thinking about my little project, which is about dogs. And I am thinking, all right, I want to use this, um, this meta tag, my meta tags. Uh, there we go. Uh, there we go. We got our title. We got this thing in here. We'll come back to that. So I want to use my micro content in that little project to uh, promote some um, things up for dogs. Okay, in my in my output, you and you'll see what I mean. Uh, add one more in here, and this one is going to be I'm going to call it resources because I have some uh, extra resources, PDFs and videos that I might want to display in topics or in search results. Uh, so a lot of these meta tags that I'm creating have to do with how I'm going to use them with micro content. Uh, the ones on the general tab, not, not as much. Uh, some, some, but not as much as these other two. Okay, so I've added these meta tag set files. So what we want to do now is we want to add meta tags within each one of these. That's what, that's what we're going to talk about next. All right, so let's add some stuff into each one of these meta tag sets. First one in the general meta tag set, I am actually going to leave this description uh, meta tag name in here. Like I said, this is an important one. This is one of those standard meta tags that uh, search engines recognize. And uh, if you've used Flare in the past and you went into your topic properties, uh, in, in, into yeah into the topic properties and there's a tab in there where you could enter a description and this is going to impact the search results so it's going to show uh, the text under that search result it lets you control that and so in that way it, it affects search engine optimization you can put whatever you want whatever description of the topic you want in there to hopefully get people to open it or let them know that this is this is the thing that they're looking for. Now, if you have added that, that in the past, uh, the, that stuff just gets added uh, into, um, into another place in Flare when you look at your topic properties. And we'll get to that in a minute. I'll show you where it used to be and where it is now. Okay, so you probably want to have this meta tag set on most, if not all of your topics. At, at that level, you want to provide a description. So I don't want to do that at this level. I want to leave this blank and then fill this in later. Um, and I'm going to leave this one on this meta tag set so that it's just, it inherits uh, down to the topic level. And that way I don't have to go and add it manually for every topic. It's just there and I just have to put in whatever value I want. And uh, so you don't have to do that. You could delete this and then add it manually. I just think this is a better way to do it. Now, I want to add uh, some other meta tags in here. You click right here. And there, these are the three kinds you can add. Text, list, or file tags. File tags meaning you can connect to a file tag set that you've been working on before and just kind of maintain that. So first of all, I am going to add a list meta tag. We already have a text one. I'm gonna add a list one in here. I am going to name this authors with the idea that I've got different authors on the team and you can come down here and add their names and click this to add another row and I'll, add, I'll put in Jeff and then I'll add one more. So I've got three authors, I'll add Maya, okay and save. And so I have a list meta tag uh, in here. And the idea is, once again, I could select one of these at this level or multiple ones, but I want to leave this the way it is because, again, once I get down to lower file levels, a topic or an image or something, whoever's in, whoever owns that, I want to associate them with it. And so, yeah, I'm, th I'm still thinking of this project of mine, and that's one of the things that I want to do. So we have a text meta tag, list meta tag, 
I can collapse that to get more space in here. Let's add another text meta tag. Something common that you might want to do is maybe add a copyright. And this is something that you could set the value for here. This would make sense because you'd want the same copyright information on all your files. But we're going to come back to this to provide the value. That is the next movie. Just want to add that one for now. Let's add another list meta tag and call this one greeting. And this one, I'm going to say my choices are hello and hey and hi. And this one isn't, you know, <laughs> real practical use. I, this, is, uh, this one I'm just kind of using to illustrate this inheritance thing as we, as we go along. So in this one, I am going to make a selection. See, I have that option. And this one, I decide that's going to be the default value for that. Let's add one more in here. And we want to tap into this status file tag set. And you can see got uh, this one set up. So the idea is you can associate different statuses with files. It's in progress, complete, ready for review, ready for translation. And so instead of continuing to use that, I, I want to use the meta tags. That's, pref that's uh, preferred because it's more powerful, but I don't want to lose all that work. So I'm just going to come down here. I have that one file tag set. If I had more, they'd be listed here. I'm just going to select that. And I'm going to give it the same name just to keep things in sync. Call it status. And you can see that's a file. Those are file tags. And it matches what I have in that other file. And this is the link to it. Now, if I went back to that file tag set and I, and I uh, after some time and I decided to make some changes, maybe we decided we're not going to translate our documentation. And maybe for some weirdo reason, I decide I like to say finished instead of complete. And I save that, go back to my meta tag set and it picks it up. So it stays in sync very, very well. All right, we got that one meta tag set. Let's go to the promotions. And this one, I, I have that description meta tag in here, but I only need one. Uh, as I go down to the topic level, I, 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 don't, I don't need access to multiple ones. So I'm gonna delete this one. And we are going to add a new list meta tag in here. And I'm going to call this dog rescue because my little project that I have in mind is all about dogs. And I want to maybe have some promotions for dog rescue programs on the side of the page. And so I'm going to do beagle rescue and I'll do another one for boxer rescue. And um, I, I could go on and on, but I'm just going to leave it at that. And again, this is going to tie into the micro content stuff that I do later. You, there's these different purposes for meta tags. There is, uh, you know, the SEO and the content management and the micro content integration. So that's what I have in mind there. Resources, I'm going to add a couple of list meta tags. I think list meta tags, that's what people are going to use a lot. Uh, that's just my guess. And I am going to call this one PDFs. All right. And I'm going to get rid of this description meta tag in here too. And I'm going to just provide some values in here. PDF one, PDF two, and PDF three. In the real world, I probably would be putting the actual names of the PDFs in here. But for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to add a second one for videos. So you can see you can add as many, um, you can add as many meta tags into these as you need, as you, as you want. Uh, it can just go on and on and on. So think about how you want to organize things. And, and maybe if you get that figured out up front, that'll help you. So video one, video two, video three, there. All right. So I have my meta tag sets set up. They got some meta tags in them. In the next video, what we're going to do is go to the, the next part of this process, which is actually setting meta tag values or entering meta tag values down lower on uh, at the file level. So we'll see you in that video.